Hello and welcome to Z4 Clicks Project Estimator training video, importing estimates. This is kind of a two side-by-side -side videos here. So we just did exporting estimates and this one is importing estimates. So if you haven't watched exporting estimates, you may want to go check that one out. It's a good one and it'll kind of set you up here to watch importing estimates. Now you may never need to back up estimates. You may only do importing. Uh, but some of the information in there we shared might give you a, a rounder picture, okay? So here we're going to do importing estimates, starting right where we left off from exporting. We are going to cover importing, and we're going to co cover several windows, but two key ones. The estimate import window and the set properties for newly imported wi estimate window, and look at some of those different properties and fields that we're going to be um, very key in our process. We are going to start our process here on the Estimates tab of the Updating Project window. All right, we're going to start on the Estimates because in the, for the most part we want to import estimates. We can import and export projects, but as we discussed in the previous video, we want you to set up your project with your project number, project name, your users, your contract, all that kind of information. We want you to own that project and then bring in the pricing information. So bring in the estimates into a project that you kind of set up to make sure you got it all right. You could do import and export projects from the projects window back here and the process will be very similar, but we're going to focus on the estimates because that's probably the most popular way to do it. All right. One more note before we get going. Just to reiterate something that we spent a little bit more time with in the exporting, the exporting estimates window is why we're even doing this, okay? So we import and export to share information between sites or installations of E4Clicks, the different databases, so between companies, between servers, okay? When we open up E4Clicks, we're opening up all of your projects at one time, okay? So your whole filing cabinet is laid out on your desk with everything open, okay? Um, so we can't just save that and ship that over when we want to just send a piece of it over, okay? So when we open everything up at once, in order to share something, we take a little piece out of it and send it over to somebody else. We call that importing and exporting. So we export a little piece, shoot it over to somebody else, and then they would import that information into theirs so the information could be shared. And that's what we're doing here. So for a little bit more information, go check out the exporting video. Here, we're going to go ahead and import. Now, I want to clean this project up a little bit. This is what we exported, this information here, so you kind of get a glance at it. But I want to clean it up. So this is not part of the export or the import, but I want to clean it up so we got it. So I'm going to hit Control-A, and then I'm going to just delete these. So I'm going to go to Process Tag, and I'm going to delete these tagged estimates. Okay? Again, not part of the process, wouldn't normally happen, but I want it just cleaned up for us. Now we want to import. If in doubt, right-click, yeah? So right-click, we've got our Import-Export cascading menu options that show us both Import and Export. And as we saw previously, it's also backing up our estimates, which we could restore later. So maybe someone didn't share information with us that we're going to import, but maybe we had backed up our own information, and we need to restore that back into our database for some reason. All right? Either way works. So we're going to choose Import. We could do it right here. Or we could use our toolbar icons, right? So right here with the green arrow coming into our blue folder is import estimates. So click on that. Either way, it's going to open up the choose file location file name for our import. This is allowing us to navigate somewhere through Windows Explorer on our system to see maybe we got an email and we saved it to our desktop or we saved it somewhere, okay? So now we're just going to navigate there, find it, and then choose the right one. We're going to remember from the video that we're in the training software instead of actual E4Clicks. So we are going to see a .emc extension instead of a .e4c, which you would see in actual E4Clicks. And again, there's two files, right? So uh, because of some, some, some different firewall security issues, we have had to create a second file in order to make sure it goes through some of the different firewalls. So we could see both .emc and .emc2 files, all right? So, or on your side, .e4c and .e4c2 files. So it's the exact same estimate information, line item pricing information, all that's the same. It's only the compression of the file that's a little bit different. 
Okay, but they're both secure. Don't worry about that. So we could choose either one of these, and maybe only one was sent to us in the first case. So we'll choose this one. We can double click or we can hit open. And this will open up the backup information window where we can see the information of when this backup was done and from where. We can also see this is a note which we had typed during our last video. We can click continue and this will open up the estimate import window. All right, this is one of our key windows here where we've got some stuff. So this kind of summarizes the export information. We could choose to bring it all in or part of it in. So we could untag some of the stuff and only bring in some of the estimates if we wanted to. As we highlight the different estimates, we can see the line items down here changing to reflect the estimate that we have highlighted. Pretty cool. In order to do anything, we're going to right click, yeah? So we could use the estimate button, of course. But if we right click, we're going to see we have two main options. We can bring in all of the tagged estimates separately into the project, so as individual estimates, a top option, or we can take all seven of these, for example, and merge them into one estimate to bring in to our project. We're going to go ahead and do this one, but the process is the same, just the result would be one estimate at the end instead of uh, various ones. So we'll choose this, and this will open up our next key window, the set properties for newly imported estimates window. Here's where we're going to decide um, some of that um, overarching information that goes on top of the estimate. Okay, So we could change the description or the estimator, some of the contract or the group, the submitted date we could pop in there, maybe the status. Probably the most important field to take a look at here is the totaling components. This is going to allow us to change some of the totals, obviously, change the markups that go on here. So we have several options. We could use the totaling components from the clipboard. So However it was exported, those same totaling components would come with us, and we could slap those back on, make sure that those are kept. Or we could switch over to our default project totaling components. So when we created our project, we chose totaling as our default, so we could slap those on. So maybe we don't care about their markups, we would care about our markups, we just like the line items and the estimates. So we could use that one. We could use select totaling schema. After we click the OK button here in a second, this would open one more window where we would navigate through and select the totaling that we would like. Or we could use none and that would strip off all the totaling and we would just have the line items without any kind of markups at all. We're going to go ahead and use the totaling components from the clipboard. Um, and then let's just take a peek here, fields to clear. We could actually clear the quantities if we just wanted the line items but didn't care about their quantities or maybe notes and stuff, we could clear all that kind of stuff out. All right, and one more handy thing that, again, we won't dig into, but to take a look at is the automatically repricing option. So instead of doing this as a separate step, we could do it as we paste, which is pretty cool, or as we import. This allows us to go from a previous year's pricing guide pricing to the current year's pricing. So 15 to 16, 14 to 15, that kind of deal. And this will allow us then to update all those pricing at the line item level, which is pretty cool. So hopefully that's making sense a little bit. Once we've got this set up how we want, we can click OK, and the process will actually go through and it will import. We get a little summary window here that shows us that all seven estimates were brought in because we chose to do them separately. It was exported out with this value, and then we have a new value of this. If they're the same, then that's probably a good thing. If they're different, we may have done it on purpose, or we may have to investigate a little bit why they aren't um, the same. Okay, so the main difference is the first way to check is probably totaling components. Remember, we spent some time deciding that we could put on our default or choose totaling components or clear them off altogether. If we expect them to be the same, we could check totaling components like the city cost index or the coefficient. Maybe those were a little bit different than we expected. We also could have repriced these, the line items themselves, which would actually obviously affect the total and we could have cleared quantities out which again would zero a bunch of stuff out all right but it's a nice little double check there so we could verify that what came in when we click OK we don't automatically close this in case you wanted to bring in something else separate or maybe merge them all together or maybe reprice some stuff and not others but what we do is we bring you back here just in case if we're done though we can click close and this will bring us back to our estimates tab on the update project window and we can see our new estimates okay and it's gonna look just how we left it because it was the same information 
right? We will see a little paste icon that notices that it's pasted in there, but all the line item information is going to be the same as we had previously, and we're ready to roll. Pretty cool? All right. Well, hopefully that helps you with importing estimates. Again, exporting was a previous video, which got some other good information. Please check out all of our videos. Hopefully they'll help you out or get a hold of the support team if you need something. But we hope you have a fantastic, fantastic day. Thanks so much.